If you bought your home with less than 20% down, you probably had to add private mortgage insurance or PMI to your conventional loan. PMI can get you into your dream home, but it can also add hundreds of dollars to your monthly payment. The good news is that depending on the type of private mortgage insurance that you got, you may not need to pay it forever. In this video, we'll go over the basics of PMI and what it covers, and we'll also show you how and when you can stop paying it. Let's begin with what is PMI. Your lender requires PMI payments when you buy a home with a conventional mortgage and bring less than 20% for a down payment. But what exactly is PMI and what protection does it afford you? PMI is a type of insurance that protects your lender in the event that you default on your loan or go into foreclosure. PMI doesn't protect you as the homeowner, but you still have to pay the monthly insurance expenses for your lender. PMI is often confused with two other types of mortgage insurance. The first is homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance protects you against damage to your property. Most lenders require that you have some form of homeowner's insurance as a condition of your loan. The next is mortgage protection insurance. This insurance is a type of optional coverage that pays off your mortgage in the event that you die before you own your home. This is also sometimes referred to as mortgage life insurance. It's important to know the difference between PMI and other types of insurance. As the buyer, the only benefit you get from PMI is the ability to buy a home without waiting until you have the money for a 20% down payment. There are two different types of PMI for conventional loans, borrower paid mortgage insurance or BPMI and lender paid mortgage insurance or LPMI. BPMI is the most straightforward, simple type of PMI. Your lender adds a PMI fee onto your monthly payment with BPMI. You must continue to pay these BPMI fees until you reach 20% equity in your home. Once this threshold is reached, you can request cancellation. LPMI allows you to avoid adding a fee to your monthly payment. Instead, you accept a slightly higher interest rate than you could get without PMI. It's important to remember that unlike BPMI, you cannot cancel LPMI. LPMI sticks around for the life of the loan and you'll need to continue paying the same interest rate after you reach 20% equity. Choosing LPMI means you may have the option to pay all or some of your PMI costs at closing. You'll get a lower interest rate if you make a partial payment toward your PMI. If you pay for the entirety of your LPMI costs at closing, you'll get an interest rate that's identical to the one you'd get if you didn't have to pay for LPMI. LPMI and BPMI only apply to conventional mortgages. How much does PMI cost? The amount you'll pay for PMI depends on a wide range of factors, including your down payment. Your lender will charge some kind of PMI if your down payment is lower than 20%. The lower your down payment, the higher risk you are to lenders. Your credit score. This number indicates to lenders how responsible you are when you borrow money. Do you always make your payments on time? Your credit score will be higher. Do you frequently miss payments or max out your credit? Your credit score may be lower. A lower score indicates that you may be more likely to default on your loan. As a result, you'll pay more in PMI. Your loan type. You'll pay less for PMI if you have a fixed rate loan. This is because fixed rate mortgages are more predictable for lenders compared to adjustable rate mortgages. Your property type, debt to income ratio or DTI, and home value may also influence how much you pay for PMI. As a general rule, you can expect to pay one half to 1% of your total loan amount per year in PMI. What does PMI cover? PMI helps your lender avoid financial loss if you default on your loan. You won't gain any type of coverage or benefit from PMI as the buyer outside of the ability to make a down payment lower than 20%. But you may not have to pay for PMI forever or even for the duration of your mortgage loan. So when does PMI go away? 
you must pay BPMI until you have 20% equity in your property. Equity refers to the percentage of your principal balance that you've paid off. You can contact your lender and request that they cancel your BPMI once you've built 20% equity into your home. Many lenders will automatically do this once you reach 22% equity. You must pay PMI for the duration of your loan if you have LPMI. The only way to cancel PMI is to refinance your mortgage loan's interest rate or loan type. PMI is a type of insurance that protects your lender. If you default on your loan, PMI gives you no protection as the buyer, but it does allow you to get into your dream home with less than 20% down. Thanks for watching. Be sure to work with a state licensed mortgage professional and get your questions answered. Thanks for watching. We are here to answer your questions and help you through the process. You can reach us online at www.interconnectmortgage.com. We look forward to working with you.